Good morning, everybody. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's uh, just about 1130 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday, bringing you the latest on Hurricane Lee. Uh, Lee is now moving more quickly toward the north at about eight north northeast at about 18 miles per hour, currently centered just about 400 miles to the south southeast of Nantucket off the southeast coast of Massachusetts. Still a hurricane, maximum sustained winds about 80 miles an hour, but Lee continues to grow in size. Tropical storm force winds now extending out more than 300 miles away from the center. You can see that Lee is starting to undergo extra tropical transition. We see the cloud shield and the coldest cloud tops and the shower activity expanding out well to the north. We see dry air wrapping in along the south side of the storm. So again, uh, and impacts are starting to be felt in portions of southeastern New England. We've seen uh, 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 wind gusts to about 40 miles per hour already in Nantucket, sustained winds 25 to 30 miles per hour. So you can see that large tropical storm force wind field of Lee here in the orange is moving northward, is going to start impacting uh, you know, Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, Cape Cod later this afternoon and this evening, and then spread northward across the rest of Massachusetts coastline, New Hampshire, and into portions of Maine, and then eventually reaching Atlantic Canada overnight tonight and Saturday. So we have tropical storm warnings in effect from Westport, Massachusetts, around Cape Cod, up through Boston, the New Hampshire coast, all the way through the coast of Maine, and then around New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. We have hurricane watches in effect for portions of New Brunswick and Nova Scotia as well. If we look at the track forecast, we're still expecting the center of Lee to uh, move east of southeastern Massachusetts tonight and early Saturday, and then be in the vicinity of uh, the U.S. Canadian border, New Brunswick, southwestern Nova Scotia area by the time we get to Sunday evening. So all these impacts, again, regardless of the exact track of the center, these winds are going to uh, expand across all this tropical storm warning area across coastal New England and into Atlantic Canada. So we're certainly concerned about that. And it's not just a coastal event. It is more of a coastal event here in southeastern New England. But uh, across much of Maine, eastern Maine now is under a tropical storm warning, even well inland into places like Holton and Caribou, Bangor, all the way to Eastport. We could see um, substantial wind impacts across much of Maine, especially along the coast, though, where we could see tree damage, some power outages. Again, so in terms of your preparations, you're going to want to be in your safe space by later this afternoon in southeastern New England and certainly by nightfall tonight farther north as we get into northern New England. We're still looking at the potential for widespread coastal flooding of one to three feet above ground level all the way from Long Island across the entire coast of New England. We're most concerned about the area in Cape Cod Bay near, say, Barnstable, where we could see a prolonged duration of northeasterly flow into Cape Cod Bay over multiple high tide cycles. That's where we could, we're concerned we could get up to that two to three foot of, of uh, inundation above normally dry ground. So that could cause some coastal flooding, you know, road closures, some coastal flooding into properties. So again, if you're in a coastal a flood prone area, you want to make want to make those preparations and get ready for those impacts beginning as soon as tonight. Uh, again, want to talk about rip currents along the entire U.S. East Coast from Florida all the way up to New England. Most of those places are under a high risk of rip currents, as you see here in red, from that large wave field associated with Lee creating dangerous beach rip current conditions, high surf along almost the entire East Coast of the United States. Those conditions are going to continue well into the weekend, especially from the mid-Atlantic states northward. So please be careful. Don't go out and try to get in the water if it's uh, not safe to do so. We lose a lot of people in surf and rip currents uh, in the United States in tropical storms and hurricanes. On the rainfall front, we're really looking at the heaviest rain being focused in to eastern Maine, where we could see two to four inches of rainfall, places like Eastport, Bangor, Bar Harbor, over to Holton. And there is a risk for at least scattered to isolated flash flooding in this yellow area in, in portions of eastern Maine. So again, we're going to have multiple impacts related to Lee here over the next 24 to 48 hours affecting much of the coast of New England, much of the state of Maine, and then into Atlantic Canada, where we have tropical storm warnings in effect potential for coastal flooding, potential for heavy rainfall. So, uh, so stay tuned for more information on that. I do want to touch on the new tropical depression that's just formed this morning in the Atlantic out here in the tropical Atlantic. This is tropical depression 15. The forecast for that system has it strengthening to a tropical storm moving northwestward well to the east of the Lesser Antilles and becoming a hurricane and eventually a major hurricane by the middle of next week to the southeast of Bermuda. So this will be another storm we'll be dealing with for uh, it looks like into next week and possibly beyond. So again, a reminder that we're here at the peak of hurricane season. So uh, again, keep checking back here in, in here at hurricanes.gov at the National we uh, Hurricane Center. Go to your local National Weather Service forecast office at weather.gov and stay tuned for more live stream updates here. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.